I, I was th- I was thinking about your Wizards team, and, and you and John have played together, um, and you've been an inc- you know an incredible duo, of course. Who's the second best player you've played with? Like I went through every roster of yours, <laughs> and look, I'm not saying you play with bl- bad players at all, but like in terms of a career, it's obviously mm. Paul Pierce, but he was at the down end right. of his career, right? After I mean, after John, it's like who is the who is the next best player you played with? Man, it's tough because I've probably had over like I've probably had over fifty or two hundred teammates. <laughs> that's that's bad, huh? <laughs> I don't uh, know. If I, I th- maybe it was last year, the year before. One of them, I looked at the roster. I was like, holy shit! There's like twenty seven guys on the roster. One this year, year. <laughs> one year, I had one year, I had thirty different teammates in one year. It was crazy. We traded a bunch of guys. Every deadline, we hit we hit a trade. <laughs> uh, but I would say uh, that had a crazy impact. I would say Gortat. Yeah. Gortat or Nene. Early on, like I played with Nene my first two years. That's right. That's right. And yeah, that's both, that's both Nene was still, was still yeah. really good. Yeah. Yeah. And, um. But the fact, okay, I'm not again. I'm not knocking these guys. I'm not knocking these guys, and and I'm I'm I'm, I'm sort of tying this into this conversation about individual recognition, individual awards, all stars, all NBA with team mm-hmm. success. And right. I, from the outside looking in, I, I you know I made a list of like, you know, obviously I love TA, so I, I love Trevor. He's played with Trevor, yeah. yeah, Otto Porter, Gortat. Mm-hmm. Nene, and uh, I would throw you know Bogdanovich in there because I love him, and obviously he was there on a deadline trade. It wasn't there with you long, but that's probably the list. <laughs> yeah, and those weren't all right. at the same time. So right. I, I, I I do think, and I'm not I, again. I'm not knocking the Wizards at all. But my my point more is that I I don't think you've necessarily been in a in a great position to get the recognition that your peers think you deserve right yeah understandable understandable like it's tough because our, our dynamic of our team is it shifted you know from when randy whitman ran it and ernie grunfield was running the team so now when shepherd has it and brooks took over so you know we were more or less outside in i mean inside out early on with nene and gortad and nene and okafer in the beginning my first couple of years and then it shifted to Nene and Gortat, and then they left, and then it was Gortat and Keith and Otto. And so we've always, we, then we eventually branched out to become more of a perimeter team. But you're right. I mean, I think just the history of our organization plays a part in it, like from all the BS back in the day, you know, then not winning, kind of being always kind of looked at as a jokish organization. I think all that stuff kind of plays a factor into it, you know, and then you not win on top of that. It all plays a factor into not not getting the recognition. You know, teams won't even, you know, give you the entertainment, won't even pay attention to it. So unless you win, unless you make, you know, big, big statements. So I get why for sure. Your, your agent, Mark Bartlestein is, is in in my opinion, uh, one of the best agents in all of sports, not just basketball. Um, The decision to sign that extension last fall, um, mm-hmm. It looks pretty good right now, by the way, <laughs> with the way with the way well, free agency COVID, might right? turn out. Yeah, <laughs> or the way free agency might turn out. Um, but no, it, it you know you're. I think it's you're you're guaranteed for 2021, 2022, and then you got the mm-hmm. player option on in in the summer of, of 2022. Um, just yeah. walk me through that that sort of that sort of process and 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 that decision to 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 stay with the wizards and to sort of set yourself up for that that la- that long term deal after year 10. Uh it was more or less um you know do I want to have something built around me, you know, and I had that opportunity to do it here or or you know do I want to kind of test the waters, you know, and that's kind of what what made me do so, but I signed my deal and kind of, you know, structured it to where I still have some flexibility because at the end of the day I still want to win. You know, and the organization has to show me that we want to win. You know, I want to see what John's like as well. So we we 
you know, there's always going to be, you know, hope in, in that direction, but you still want to be able to protect yourself and, you know, kind of be selfish in that regard. And, you know, how can I, you know, create some type of flexibility for myself, you know, if, if, you know, we aren't winning, you know, if I, if I do choose to get out. So uh, that's why I was more or less a two year with you know, one and one versus, you know, the full three year. And so, and then on top of that, you know, the all NBA kind of screwed me too. And then, so the 10 year vet max as well, but, you know, you just, just kind of trying to position myself, you know, later down the line, um, you know, with an organization that I have an opportunity to build around myself, but, you know, at the same time, I want to win and they know that and they have to show that.